Hello everyone and thank you for joining me today. Um, this is the first video I'm doing since the tragedy in Texas, the school shooting. Every time I open social media and I see a picture of one of these children's or, or teachers' faces, I start to cry. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know how we just carry on um, and just do normal day to day and not um, be affected by this. I'm not going to turn this whole video into some big like rant and whatnot, but I was telling mom yesterday, wouldn't it be worth doing just about anything in terms of changing the laws, adjusting whatever the guidelines are in relation to guns to keep this from happening again? To keep the, these innocent children and teachers safe? I'm not sure what the specific answer is, but I think it's somewhere along the lines of way more than what we've been doing. And I was reading something that Jenna Bush Hager had said yesterday, and it's the thought that, and this really breaks your heart that, and it's true, that there are kids who, who aren't living in a safe home life, you know? Like, and it really breaks your heart when you think, well, many of us are out for summer break and how many kids aren't having enough to eat? <laughs> and they're not safe in their own homes. School needs to be safe. I'm sorry guys. It's so serious. It's really, really serious. I want to carry on. I want to get on here and do my normal things. I'm gonna to have to take a minute. I'm not sure how it makes sense to do a makeup video, but somehow I feel like that's what I need to do. If I've got something I can do here that makes a person smile or gives a person a little break from all the heaviness we've had lately, then I guess that's what I'll do. Okay, we're gonna talk about makeup now. Thank you for joining me. We're gonna get the groove back. Um, we're gonna we're gonna enjoy. Last week, I saw Charlotte Tilbury put out something practical. <laughs> and anytime I see her do something the least bit practical, I think I'm, I'm jumping on that. You know, the instant look in a palette, the full face palette she does, I feel like that's a pretty practical thing. Um, and now she has something called the Quick and Easy Collection. And I found it actually through a Facebook ad. And I see this, I'm thinking, I don't think I ever ran across this at Sephora yet. And they're showing these three sticks and they like come out of their own little container here. And there's different color schemes that you can choose from. There's Sun Kiss, there's Date Night. I mean, honestly, they all look pretty close just with a few little shade adjustments. I got the one called Super Chic, and it's not cheap, okay? This thing is $75. You may be surprised at what the overall review on this is because this, this did not really go as planned. But this little compact, now I don't have it fully shut. There's a reason for that. You open it up, I've got a mirror here, and then you've got two things about the size of a standard lipstick bullet, and then this one is the size of an eyeshadow wand. And it says easy highlighter wand, easy lip and cheek wand, and an easy eye wand. And they just describe this as quick and easy, instant five minute looks and refills, scribble, smudge, swipe, and go in minutes. Now you can buy these things individually from what I see here on the website, on the Charlotte Tilbury website, you can buy just the date night eye wand or just the super chic eye wand just the highlighter, just the whatever, and I assume they would have caps, but when they lift out of here, you're just getting them twist up style. So that's kind of funny. I actually was picturing there being a cap and these would just lift out, but no, they're, they're capless. And um, it works out okay because the product uh, goes all the way down in there and it's protected as it goes in. And then we come to the eye wand. When I first got this, y'all, I took out the, this, I took out this. I was like, okay, this is cool. I go to take out the eye wand. It is 100% stuck. I'm a pretty strong girl. I could not pull it out for the life of me. And I thought, okay, when Bub gets home, I'm gonna have him take a crack at it. I should have gotten it on video. He is very strong. He was like, and then finally pulled it out. I was prepared that if he couldn't get it out, I was gonna get some pliers and I was gonna get the dang thing out. But when it is pushed all the way down in as far as it should go to allow um, this thing to fully shut, I cannot get it out. So I have to leave this semi open so this is not pushed all the way down. And also this one does have products sticking out. So you do have to be very like aware of that fact as you go in and really try not to smudge that on the sides of the container. But I was really wondering as I was struggling to get it out, I was thinking like, is my product getting all, you know, like messed up in there? I wasn't sure what was going on, but I can push it down a little bit. But even if that hangs out above these other two just a little bit, I still can't 
fully close this. Okay, so I got a gripe here. I'm not saying everybody would have this issue, but I am pointing it out here and I am saying that maybe this concept could stand to be worked with a little bit. I don't know. If I push it down the way it should be, I'm, there's no way I'm getting it out without a tool or a bub. How do we start talking about makeup again? We go from our rant about the state of the world into a, a makeup rant. <laughs> somehow come out with something better. So for $75, I feel like that thing should be operating like a dang dream, you know? So now that I've got that out of the way, we're going to actually do a full face of makeup. I'm gonna incorporate all those steps, and as we go, I will talk about how they apply, how they do. And I believe I've even found a dupe for the um, lip and cheek color. But it just feels like I'm paying a lot of money for packaging that didn't end up working in just three there's three little parts in there. I thought it would be worth trying. I thought maybe maybe this could be amazing, but we'll talk as we go. So I am going to try to keep it a relatively quick look overall. I'm going to try to stay with this vibe, um, but you know, it, I'm not just going to use those three steps. I'm going to get my foundation and concealer and stuff on. I'm going to use my Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer from Hard Candy. This has the makeup grip. It looks a little greenish because it's kind of trying to be like milk. Milk the brand, not vitamin D or whatever. All over the skin, I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Soft Beige, which I do love. Love the way it looks on my skin, the way it applies, the way it wears all day. This foundation has really become my best friend. I probably need a backup. So yesterday was the last day of school for my kids. Well, Biddy's last day in the building was Tuesday, but then they scheduled like a play day for them actually the same place that they do gymnastics and tumbling and all that. So I did that with her in the morning and then by afternoon it was time to pick up Belle from school and I hugged her teacher and that was sad. I don't remember having this experience where I was like crying over missing my teacher, but I cried for Belle when I said goodbye to Mrs. B. And then that night around dinner, she's like, I'm gonna miss my friends, I'm gonna miss my teacher. Like it was sinking in that she wasn't gonna be going back. We're just not having a big school's out for summer vibe in my house right now. Our teachers are great and they're gonna be missed. That's all there is to it. I mean, we're gonna have a fun summer. We're gonna take some trips, we got some fun things to do, but I have a first grader there who absolutely loves her daily routine. She loves her school life. She is kind of sad about it coming to a close. This is all blended in. I love this foundation. Like, it's not the fullest coverage, but it's really good coverage. It's a strong medium coverage, and I love the way it blends in and it wears well for me. And it pairs well with the Incognito concealer too, which I wear in light beige. Like, this concealer is no slouch either. And it's brightening the particular shade that I have. It's good for that. And like, I don't know, yesterday was just a busy day and I was wearing this combo and I thought, man, it's just a rock star combo. And it's pretty much as cheap as it gets. Like, how is that? So sometimes I bring in a little smaller brush just so I can make sure that I'm all blended in there, but <laughs> I feel good about that foundation and concealer combo. And then we're just gonna really keep wet and wilding it up with my loose powder. Yeah, and then we're gonna have to bring in some Charlotte Tilbury riffraff. Just kidding, just kidding. It's just funny. It's funny how these are kind of like my mainstays. So I'm just pressing this in. This is my, did I even show it? My loose powder from Wet n Wild, the Photo Focus and Translucent. Love it. And it truly like works well in the T-zone. Somebody said after I did my $5 video from Walmart, Somebody was saying how like they'd like to see a staying power test and all that. Well, I can just assure you flat out, like I wore that combo of products a lot and it stays, <laughs> stays well. Okay, so there we go. Set in the T-zone, set kind of around the mouth and stuff and set on the under eye. And then finally, we're gonna pull in some bronzer and I haven't used this one from LYS in a bit. This is my No Limits Matte Bronzer in the shade Courage and it has tan in parentheses. So I'm gonna use some of this, my usual brush. See, that looks pretty good. Pretty good little bronzer here. Some contour going. Okay, so we're gently bronzed and contoured there. No big deal. Now, what many of you have been waiting for to see this stuff in action. So, like I said, I chose the um, color family, which it doesn't say anywhere on the outside of this, but I chose the super chic look in five, okay? Just judging by the way the models looked, like pretty much all the sets look good, but this color scheme just spoke to me most. So I took out my little lipstick looking thing with a rounded off top, and this is my super chic lip and cheek. 
So I'm going to just get a little bit of this up here. It feels kind of thick and creamy. And then I'm going to blend it out using my little Sephora 56. Um, texture wise to blend it out it is stiffer than an M Cosmetics stick but I wouldn't say it's particularly difficult to blend you know it's just I think you can see like I'm pulling a little bit I'm applying a little bit of pressure obviously but I can work with it end result is kind of this like toasty sort of like warm rose look I'm gonna add a little more always easier to add more and to take away. I want you to be able to see what the color is that you end up coming out with here. I like some blush and I feel like I'm still needing to blend just a little bit more. If I blend it out with my finger, light circular motions, it's doable. I just kind of like the brush feel because I feel like it looks even more even. <laughs> okay, so that's that on the cheeks. It's pretty. I like it. And then look at it on the lips. I just apply it straight from the stick here. Why not? It's a matte look, you know. There, there isn't shine coming off of this particular product, which I think is fine because we have a separate highlighter stick. But that is the lip and cheek. I like the color. Dusty Rose fans would enjoy this stick, I think. Next we go to the Easy Highlighter Wand, which is called Chic Glow. And it's got a little more like flattened off stick there. And it feels like creamier. It feels like there's much more moisture in this stick, okay? So I'm gonna, again, dab over it with my little brush here. Applying a decent amount of pressure, but still not necessarily struggling. I hope people will blend these in enough because they're not like, it's more work than my M Cosmetics sticks, as I've said, to get, really get them in there. It could be not a very good look if you're not willing to get it all blended. So I blended over that highlight. I think it's pretty. I wanna apply some, like just get some on my finger and maybe let some glow come up in here too, to the temples. A little on the cupid's bow perhaps. Maybe a little comes right up in here, ahead of the eye look. It gives a dewiness, it really does. It has a little bit of a dewy texture. And I think that looks nice and flattering along with the blush. So now we're gonna put this little guy on hold and I'm gonna do brows. And um, today I feel like doing my Kosas duo of the air brow, and this is called the brow pop. And I need some coffee. And speaking of where, I mean, you, the lip does start to transfer off. It's not like something that sets up big time and stays forever. My brow pop is in the shade Dark Brown, and it's like a mini-sized um, teardrop shape. And I do like how this is all square all the way around, and it does make holding the pencil really easy. Like It's amazing, actually, the difference, holding this nice-sized square as opposed to a little skinny cylinder shape cylindrical is that what i should say i was trying to listen when my kids learned their 3d shapes i also learned them in the past myself see really really nice and easy there and then i just take the attached spoolie brush it up the blush and highlight by the way i don't know if i said this they do actually click into place there should be kind of a click with the um shadow stick but like i said if i go there i um can't get it back out it's just one of those things, you know, 75 bucks, it needs to work. And then we will come in with our air brow, which is also in dark brown. And this is just kind of a nice little fluffer and holder. You can just brush the brows up. Now we're gonna do the eyes and I'm gonna stick with the eye look here. Um, you know, I'm just gonna stick with the shadow stick. I'm gonna do a little Milani eyeshadow primer just because I always do prime. But I want you to see what the intended look is. So you actually know if you're thinking about getting this and you're deciding potentially between this one or another color scheme. By the way, this LA Colors Mermaid Whatever nail polish has lasted so well. Like it really hadn't been chipping, but the other day I had time and I was like, I'm gonna see what one more coat thrown on looks like. So a total of three coats and it continues to last. And the color is just more opaque now. I, I really like it. I'm surprised. I do a lot of stuff around the house that causes nails to chip and these are just holding up well. I mean, they didn't even chip throughout my whole experience trying to get this shadow stick out of the container. By the way, there's a mirror there. So if you were to stand this up, 
it would technically like it would stand and it does stand until you start taking one of these out and then it starts to slowly tip isn't that funny can we create a little mock table here that didn't work it's little stuff like that where you're buying from a luxury brand it should work so i took out my shadow stick here and this is in the super chic eyes color it's like a matte um kind of warm brown look like I wore this shirt for a reason because I just felt like it really meshed even though I also had this shirt on yesterday afternoon okay so I'm dabbing that around all over my lid and now I just want to take my finger and kind of go over what I did there um, the other day when I was using this I actually used this as my base and then I pulled in like a little bit of a shimmery shadow and a little bit of a darker shadow. You know, this palette was handy. So I pulled a little bit from this to add to this look. But this is the, you know, the super chic eye. And now I'm kind of going just dotting it above my crease line there. And I'm going to blend over that too. You know, it's, it's fine. It's not necessarily something where I'm like, oh, I would have needed this. Like, I almost feel like I could use a cream bronzer slash any bronzer. I have to get kind of a similar vibe going. Okay, just dabbing it around. No problem with the color translating off of the stick, like it goes on smoothly and I'm not pulling. I swear, I'm not out to get this product. I just, it's frustrating when you want it to work well and it just doesn't come out. Got it on there. Now, you know, like I said, I add a little bit more so it can kind of fade up the way I might normally wear my eyeshadow, you know. And then just blend over that. Okay, so you see what we've got here? Just this soft look. Yeah, super chic. I'll take it. So I put it in, put it back in, and I can press it, like I said, to a point, but not to the point where it clicks, because if it clicks, I can't open it. And then I've got this just kind of hanging out, semi-open. Don't love that. Next up, I'm going to grab my Cocoa Caviar Stick from Laura Mercier, and I'm going to use this to do a little bit of lazy liner, as I like to call it. So it's that thick, kind of smudgy looking liner right along the lash line. Do you see the slight difference in the two eyes now? I just bumped that one up a little bit just by going about on the last two thirds of the eye. Staying near the lash line, but not like trying really hard. That's the point here. <laughs> it doesn't have to be precise and I'm just trying to stay with the vibe. And then you could also go under a little bit with that cocoa. And again, just pick your smudger. I'm using pinky finger down here for the lower lash line. So next up, I'm just going to finish this look with a little mascara. I've got my Essence Sculpted Volume and my Shiseido Lash lash curler right here and we will have our finished look so concept you know i i love a practical on the go idea it just seems like could we have been better off with just having that set with caps in a little pouch while this case probably attracts attention it may have attracted me even to the whole concept of this does it turn out to be just kind of a gimmicky thing and not a real necessity and obviously in my experience it messed with the function of one of the products being able to get it out wow that mascara is looking great today Ooh, i can't forget to show you the thing that i found a dupe for i didn't really find an exact dupe in my collection for the highlighter stick i mean it's a pretty standard glowy pearly thing but I just didn't have that exact thing and in terms of the eyeshadow wand I'm pretty sure I have something from Laura Mercier that's matte like that but I didn't have a lower cost thing to dupe the Charlotte Tilbury but what I do think I have a pretty good dupe for is the blush stick from a lip product because it is a lip and cheek remember Camera turned off again, but I finished the mascara and I did put a little Cali Ray come hell or high water on the lowers and I got rid of some smudges. So finish look here with the super chic product combo. Um, it's a color scheme that I think is pretty. And by the way, I noticed this was what came with my order. There was a little brochure and I thought you might be interested to see all the looks all together. So this is sun kissed, pretty fresh, golden glow there's super chic that's the one i got and then there's date night like i said they're all like fairly close pretty fresh seems to have a brighter shade for lip and cheek and super chic has just this really matte looking like maybe not every lip and cheek is quite as matte as the one that i got i respect the convenience factor and it did stand out to me just this whole idea and even looking past like the mechanical error of the i1 getting stuck in here i look at the price of 75 dollars and i don't think it had to come 
come from this. I really don't think that the textures of the cheek colors, the cream sticks here were that spectacular really and we're doing something so above and beyond anything else I've used. For example, one thing here, this e.l.f. Putty, Pl Putty Blush in Maldives, this looks dark here but this actually shears out to be pretty similar to what the lip and cheek stick is doing and I think it's even more easily blendable. And as far as my highlighter goes, I feel like even if you didn't have a cream texture, there are probably countless powder textures that could give me that level of brightening. I'm even thinking about my L'Oreal Lumi Glow Nude palette, you know, the one in Moon Kiss. I could probably get that same effect. But here's what's really neat. Let me swatch out the wand here for the blush. Lip and cheek, I should say. Okay, so we have that. That's the color really full on there. And again, this is super chic. And then I have a Super Stay Matte Ink Crayon and enjoy the view and it's also matte and just swatching that side by side I feel like they're really close they look maybe even closer on camera enjoy the view has a hint more rosiness in it but as far as their depth level and their finish they're just the same um, so like I could add a little bit of this to my lip look and I don't think anybody would even notice that I'm bringing in you know a different product plus long wear long wear okay I wonder if I could even get a little bit off of here and you know, end up blending it into my cheeks. <laughs> Probably good work, honestly. So enjoy the view. That's the big overall color scheme here. I didn't have a dupe, like I said, for the eye stick, but I wasn't exactly floored by that look either. Everything comes together nicely enough, but I do think it's also a lot about how you finish the look with additional products. Like, did you use a really nice foundation and concealer? Did you take time to also do your brows? Like, stuff like that, you know, that really comes into if your completed look was satisfying. So the final word on this from me, in my personal opinion, I wouldn't recommend it. And I say this knowing that not everybody might have the issue with the product getting stuck in there, but just totally aside from that, having experienced the products, they can look pretty enough, but I don't think they're mind-blowing textures. This whole idea with just having them in the box is a little gimmicky. I'm just not wowed, y'all. So let me know your take in the comments section. This is a brand new product. It's not even at Sephora yet. I bought it directly from the Charlotte Tilbury website. Like I said, I see them doing something. It's going to be a little practical. I want to try it out, but it just didn't quite hit the mark for me. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you again very soon. I love you. Bye.